Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm starting out with my skin and I'm priming using my usual primer, the Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. So just applying that all over my face. Then for foundation, I'm using the NARS She Glow Foundation and I'm using the shade Gobi because I am very pale. In this video, I had no fake tan on and I'm using my favorite foundation brush, the F84 I believe it is. It's the flat angled Kabuki from Sigma. Then moving on to my eyes, I'm priming using the Benefit Air Patrol Primer. So I'm just applying some of that to my eyelids and then using a big fluffy brush from Sigma to blend that all over my eyelids. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Mirage Eyeshadow and I'm just going to set the entire lid from the lash line to the brows just to make sure all of my shadows blend really easily over the top. Then for a transition shade, I'm going to use Peach Smoothie. Um, this is also from Makeup Geek, as you can probably tell. And I'm just using a Sigma E40 brush to buff that really messily kind of into the crease and just above. Then I'm using the shade Petal Pusher, which is a really beautiful muted kind of mauve shade. And I'm just doing the same thing, but keeping it a little bit more down towards the crease, so just keeping it a bit more precise. Then I'm taking the shade Motown, which is this beautiful like eggplanty purple, and I'm using a Sigma E25 brush just to buff this into the outer V, and then I do end up bringing it right the way through the crease, so focusing mainly in the outer V at the start, and then as you can see, I'm just dragging the rest of the product in through the crease and then here I'm just adding a little bit more of this of the eyeshadow into the outer corner then I'm taking corrupt which is a matte black it's like the blackest eyeshadow I own and I'm just using a more precise kind of fluffy brush to apply this in the outer V just basically doing the same thing I did with Motown, just not taking it quite as far into the crease. Then I'm just going back in with the E40 brush and making sure everything is nice and blended together. Then I'm going into the Tarte Make Believe In Yourself Eye and Cheek palette no I and yeah I and cheek palette oh my gosh sorry and I'm taking this beautiful silver shade on my finger and I'm just applying this to the inner third of my eyelid so from the inner corner to basically the center of where my eye is and then I'm taking the purpley shade and doing the same thing except keeping this on the outer third so that it was kind of like an ombre between the two colors and then I just took a brush just to make sure I had the shades nice and blended and that they blended into each other nicely. And then here, just going back in with the E25 brush and just making sure the edges are blended but not over blending because I didn't want to lose too much pigment. And then here I'm just adding a little bit more of the Corrupt shade which is the black just into the outer corner where I lost a bit of the uh, density. Then I'm taking my black with liquid liner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Liner, which I ended up stuffing up one of the eyes and I left it in just to show you guys that you can fix things even when they seem bleak. So I just created a wing with that and then I used my Maneater Eyeliner from Tarte just do tight line then just gave my eyelashes a curl and applied a coat of lights camera lashes from Tarte which you guys know is my all-time favorite and then I applied the model rock lashes in the style 43 back onto the face I'm taking my Tarte shape tape concealer and I'm just applying some underneath my eyes and blending them out with a Sigma, it will be on the screen. I am so bad with all of the names. 
but it's my favorite concealer brush for underneath my eyes and you can see how much coverage that shape tape gives me I just love it I'm in the shade fair neutral by the way so and then I'm just applying some down the center of my face as well and just blending it out with the same brush Then I'm taking my Inglot palette and I'm taking this really light shade. I believe it's in the shade 503, but it will be listed down below. And I'm just using a tapered highlighter brush from Sigma to set the center of my face. And then going in with the F10 brush and just setting the rest of my face. And then I'm taking the shade 505, which is a contour shade. It's quite cool tone, so it's perfect for when I'm pale. And I'm using the... Sigma small contour brush to apply this to my face. I did pop some down the sides of my nose as well just to add a bit of colour and structure and some under my bottom lip and then I went in with the bronzer shade that I've got which I think is 507. I just used a Sigma F40 brush which is a angled contour brush and just applied it basically where you would normally bronze yourself up and down on my jawline. Then I used this blush and just applied it to my cheekbones and blended it back. And then for highlighter I used the highlight shade from the Tarte palette and just applied that to the tops of my cheekbones. It has like a pinky kind of duochrome look to it so it's actually really beautiful so I applied it to my tops of my cheekbones and then down the center of my face as well then I'm taking Motown again for my lower lash line I'm using the E25 brush once again to buff this right underneath the lash line and then I'm going back in with Corrupt and doing the exact same thing. I'm just not bringing it quite as far in to the inner corner of the eye. I'm leaving it a little bit more towards the outer parts. Then I'm taking the purpley shade and applying it to the outer third of my lower lash line. And then going back in with the silver and applying that to the inner portion of the lower lash line. So basically just mimicking what we did on the upper lip. Then to highlight the inner corners and brow bone, I used the same highlight from the palette and yeah, just applied that. And then I took my Man Eater eyeliner from Tarte again and applied that into my waterline and applied some mascara to my lower lashes. Moving on to lips, I am lining them using the Makeup Store Lip Liner in Nude Beauty. So just completely outlining them and I kind of overdrew them a little bit. And then I'm filling them in using the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Beach Babe, which I love these lipsticks so much, they're my favorite formula. So I filled them in with that and then I used the Tarte Ultra Glossy Lip in Goals maybe? Um, but it will be listed down below along with everything else just to make it a little bit glossy and that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!